Okay, so we just talked about the Dooku arc from Tales of the Jedi, and now we are going to move into the Ahsoka arc, because I was pretty much blown away by the quality of these episodes, and they are a must-watch for any Star Wars fan. The first episode is titled Life and Death. And we see Ahsoka was just born, and then after about a year, her mother goes to take her on a hunt. Her father is a little worried about that, but her mother says that this is tradition and he's just gotta get over it. She talks to Ahsoka a lot about how she has to appreciate all life, even the things that they're hunting. And they end up taking out a deer to kind of bring that circle fully around. Then after that though, a giant saber-toothed cat comes out and ends up stealing Ahsoka and running off into the woods. In the cave, the saber-toothed cat is actually pretty angry, not actually trying to take out Ahsoka, but it gets close enough that Ahsoka can touch it on the nose. As soon as she does that though, the saber-toothed cat clearly gets a rush of force emotion through it and views Ahsoka as a friendly entity and she becomes friends with this saber-toothed cat. The saber-toothed cat ends up bringing her back to the village too, and as soon as they get there, the parents take her down and are like, how the heck can she do this when the village elder woman says that she is a Jedi? So the only other thing is I would have liked to see a little bit more, and I wish it didn't end there. I wish we got to see like maybe one more or two more time jumps to at least the point where she gets taken to the Jedi Order from Plo Koon when he finds her because I think it showed very deeply how much her parents loved her and I kind of would have liked to see how willing they were to give her up to the Jedi Order. We then jump to the next episode which is titled Practice Makes Perfect. And in this, Ahsoka is doing a training test and everyone is just so awesomely impressed with how quickly Ahsoka's learning except for Anakin, who says, you know, this test is not worth a damn. So Ahsoka says, hey, I'm trying to prove myself here, give me an actual challenge, and I'll beat it. So Anakin ends up setting up a test with Captain Rex and the 501st to end up surrounding her and trying to stun her. And I think this is a bit on the nose and a bit much foreshadowing for what we know her future is going to be, but it's okay, we'll roll with it. After the first few rounds of getting completely wrecked by the clones, Ahsoka gets kind of frustrated and says, this is ridiculous, these clones are way better than any droids would be, and Anakin fires back and is like, exactly. The best way I can protect you is to teach you to protect yourself, and if you can learn to fight off Rex's men, then you can fight off anything, and there's not a single army out there that's going to be able to take you down. This motivates her a lot, and she says, okay, and gets back in the ring. She gets stunned again, but this time when she wakes up, it's clearly been years later and she has been practicing for a long time and she is still getting stunned. It wouldn't be a Dave Filoni show if there wasn't a shot of Order 66, so of course it goes to her and Rex about to go meet the 501st Legion who is now under Order 66 orders and Rex says, I hope this pays off. And I think it's important to note that it showed that time jump of her practicing because she was not good at it for a long time, for years and years and years, it took her to practice and train to be able to deflect all of those clone shots. So when you see other Jedi that fell to the clones surrounding them, that's because they were not practicing for as long as Ahsoka was, especially Ahsoka was assaulted by the 501st Legion, which is the exact people she's been training with, so she knows all of their specific tactics and moves. I literally get goosebumps every time I see Order 66 happen on screen, and I would appreciate it if I didn't have to relive this so many times because it's traumatic every single time. Then we jump to the final episode titled Resolve. And here we see Ahsoka attending the funeral of Padme, and Bail Organa sees her through this and chases her down and says, look, you shouldn't be here, this is too dangerous for you, but she's there because Padme was her friend. Eventually, after talking for a bit, Bail gives her a communicator and says, look, if you ever need anything or if you ever want to fight back, call me. Years later, she's a farmer on some remote world with no Empire presence currently, but she ends up having to use her Force abilities to save a young girl, who is totally stoked to find out that Ahsoka is a Jedi, though unfortunately this girl's brother is an Imperial Loyalist and ends up ratting her out. They send in who I believe is the sixth brother, 
and he just completely kills everybody there at the village except for like two people and as he's about to kill the kid who actually called him there in the first place ahsoka steps up and says yo hey get off that dude and the sixth brother looks at her and says like what the heck you're supposed to be dead and he is just he's honestly excited that he's gonna get to take down ahsoka and bring her head to Lord Vader and get probably some serious, serious praise. Ahsoka takes him out in like two seconds though without a lightsaber, just using the force and cuts off his head using his own lightsaber, which was amazing. And then she does end up calling Bail in and they pick up the rest of the farmers and she decides to join up with the rebellion. This is just basically an extremely condensed version of the Ahsoka novel. And though there are a few differences between this and the novel, I know Filoni used the same exact outline that the writer did for the book, so really in my head I'm assuming that these are both kind of both canon and they're basically telling the same story. There's not enough differences for me to be like, oh, this one's definitely correct, we have to get rid of one. I, I don't really care, you can decide for yourself what you think the right order of events that went down were. But that wraps up Ahsoka's arc, and the only other thing I really would have liked to see in this arc would have been Ahsoka taking the kyber crystals out of that Inquisitor's lightsaber and essentially healing them and taking the corruption away from them so that she could make her own new lightsabers, which is technically still canon in what happens in the novel where she takes those crystals out of the lightsaber and heals them. Out of all the episodes though, this one I think felt like the shortest even though it was one of if not the longest episode and I really feel like that's probably because they were trying to condense like a 12 hour novel into a 14-15 minute short. Overall the quality of these are absolutely amazing, I think everybody's gonna love these and they're going to end up doing a second season. In fact, I would love to see a Tales of the Sith, which I think would be really interesting and honestly a great format to tell Tales of the Sith because you can tell a lot of their origin stories, but also leave a lot of mystery because they're so short that they give you like really nice tastes of what's happening, but they don't overshare at all. But overall, like I said, these were great. I'm Keegs, let me know what did you think and what would you want to see in a season two of Tales of the Jedi? I will catch you all next time for some more Star Wars content.